If you like to build stuff, you need to come visit us at Electronic Parts Outlet. We have motors, gears, sprockets, timing pulleys, belts, pneumatics, and electromechanical devices, microcontrollers, sensors, interfaces, servo connectors, cables, Anderson Power Pole, FRC approved batteries, crimp terminals, and good tools. Come see us while planning your robot. And out of towners, please make this a stopping point when you come to Houston for World Championships. I'm Clayton. This is Robot in Three Days, day two. Let's go. I'm Clayton with Jersey Voltage uh, Robotics. We're doing Robot in Three Days. Uh, we have some time left, but we've uh, accomplished quite a bit tonight. It's gonna be a late one because we've been making such great progress, but uh, we found out that uh, it's it's a lot more work than you could imagine to make things appear in uh, a couple days. How much uh, time does it take to make something straight? Really is irrelevant. You really need to make it straight. We've noticed that 90 degree angles are really important. We're really worried that the ball travel, because we're using polycord uh, runs, are going to be inconsistent if it's not perfectly straight. It doesn't really matter about your distance in your in your elevator. It's more important that it is, you know, aligned so that you don't get a, a friction zone where it's stopping the ball. Uh, tonight we are going to finish up all of the structure. We're going to finish up the intake mounting. We've already finished the intake. And then we're going to pretty much call it a night after that. And then tomorrow we're going to start on polycord and our tubes. Uh, earlier tonight we had an issue where we didn't have gussets and we didn't have any type of bearings. So about half of our Robot in Three Days team left to uh, Spectrum down in Houston. And they're going to pick up uh, some parts that are essential that we can't get overnighted. All right, so we have our rudimentary CAD finished. Uh, we have all the elevators in and ready to go. I don't know if we're going to do a lot more on this because we basically just wanted to know if the balls would all fit going through the elevator and making it to the shooter. So we have, I think, one elevator going up and into the hopper and then a bottom feed, feeder going from the, the hopper to the top of the shooter. And the shooter is going to come out and into the, and then we're going to shoot into the high goal. So for the gear, we're going to have something where it's just about the right height for the shoot. The gear is going to be able to come and plop into a robot similar to how robots in 2013 had a frisbee just easily go into the robot. We'd like to be able to make that as smooth as, and as easy as possible without having to add a lot of mechanisms. Uh, another thing that we've also decided on tonight or today is that our shooter is going to have one wheel that will expand and maybe we might do a type of strategy where we add a bunch of wheels and just try to shoot as many balls as we can in a second and then kind of just spray and pray type of thing but we'll see how that goes in the later comings of testing and finding out what works better and then other than that it's just a lot of testing and refining with the robot so I think we'll, we should be pretty good and see how it goes. Have a good one. Please make sure to check our links below for learnerproductions.com slash donate to support the page, support our team, support our live stream. Also, please check out Facebook, YouTube, everything. I want you to share it so that we can get some viewers and really, really drive up the hype for this robot in three days. The goal is to inspire and we can only do it with your help.